Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Disney World's Universe, episode 12. And last time we left off, uh, we had started really uh, perfecting the relationships between these two empires. And uh, they're going to become strong allies in the future, I believe, as well as uh, a couple episodes ago, or maybe it was last episode. I don't remember now. It's been a minute. We balanced our research there a lot more, so our research is looking a lot nicer. Well, it's still a little, it's actually still kind of bloated, our total research capacity. I could take off even more research stations. Um, but I'm going to leave it for now because we are getting boosts with those scientists we have. And on top of that, our population is starting to grow a little bit larger. So I'm just going to leave it how it is. If it does uh, become a problem, then uh, I'll go back and fix that. But um, let's see, what are we working on? So we got colonization queued up, working on our hunter seeker algor uh, algorithms. Algorithms, wow, uh, right now, which will get us kind of like a... Uh, kind of like a, like a long-range scanner, pretty much. And we're trying to get those hyperdrive technologies. It's really important that we grab those and then going straight for enhanced construction so we can get resupply ships. And then I think enhanced maneuvering after that's going to be the next step. Getting some ion weapons loaded up here so we can increase our firepower, which as a, as a, we're not doing as well on weapon research here because as a aggressive empire, we're definitely going to need as many weapons as we can get. So I think after ion weapons, we should definitely start going for ship boarding probably. I really don't care for shipboarding. Um, before I go for that, let's go for uh, rapid fire projectiles or accelerated projectiles. Damage of 8, range 130. Damage of 17, range 180. A uh, little more energy used. Shoots a little slower. Uh, railguns have a negative 10% targeting handicap. Railguns have a unique ability to partially bypass shields, directly damaging a shield target. However, railguns are also 50% less effective against armor. Huh. Actually, I'm going to go for these efficient blasters. I think that's good. Why do I feel like we're not moving very quickly? I guess it's just how it is. Uh, our leader was replaced again. Oh, he was, he's been ousted as incompetent. Oh, no. Not again. Oh, who do we got now? Please at least be better. Okay, population growth plus 16%. Civilian ship construction speed plus 21%. Okay, the, the civilian ship construction speed is not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. But the population growth is most certainly uh, very important. Oh, so that is definitely good. Um, we've got our scientists here. And this scientist actually, last time when I stopped recording... Uh, this scientist, rate right as I stopped recording, had increased uh, plus 39% weapons research, so that's good. And the rest of them are just kind of hanging out. So we've got our population growth plus 60% there, so hopefully we can max out our planet with that. And then we're just preventing enemy intelligence. Let's see if I can actually put this guy on a mission, since he is sitting pretty good. Who Who is not... Who is somebody I can go after? Um, I'm actually going to have to take a look at the... Um, at the diplomacy screen here and see what we got. The humans might not be bad. They surprisingly like our style of government, but they instinctively dislike us. Um, no, they've got better spies, so not them. Maybe these guys. Master engineers and natural merchants. The Aurora, or Auroria Junction Enclave, the Enclave, we'll call them the Junction Enclave. So let's see if we can steal something from them. What would I need? Fishing blasters. Colonization is not a bad idea. 76. I don't think it's what it's, what it's going to be for all of these. 76 isn't really... Uh, it's probably not really worth it. Galaxy map. I can steal their galaxy map. 87%. Yeah, let's do that. And a monetary gift of 1,000 credits. Thank you very much. Um... How are we sitting right now? Proposed free treat agreement. Um, doesn't seem to be anything else. I could try to actually trade with them. Do they have anything worth maybe nabbing up? Doesn't look like it. They don't really want anything of mine. Okay. What about our other friends? Where is our other friends here? 
How about you? Do you want anything, or you have anything I might want? Oh, you've got a lot of things I might want, but you want a lot for them, and I just don't have uh, the the uh, tech to give you. I would like to get these. Uh, well, none of this is really that great. I really would like that hyperdrive technology. 1.3 though. There's nothing I have that's even worth that for you. All right. No point then. Uh, firepower is something we need to work on some more. I may build a couple more ships. How is our population looking actually so far? On our planet here. She going to... Four point eight billion. It's going at plus six percent, so that's not too bad. And our new empire leader is boosting happiness. Recreational medical facilities are good. Current tax rate. Um, I'm actually going to increase the tax rate to four uh, percent, just to cut back a little bit of the spending. And pirates offer protection. No thanks. Do not really care for your protection. If that one pirate does try to attack me, though, the one with I, the one that I think has the world destroyer, I will definitely. Jump aboard that protection. I'm not going to take any chances with him. What are we going for up here? Gas mining station. Get this castle on. And we don't know what's up here yet. Where is our exploration ships? Have we retrofitted them already? Are they good to go? They're all just sitting in here. So I think they've all been retrofit. Okay, you go refuel. And you can't really head out too far yet. That's a lot of the problem I'm having. They can't go very far. Did I retrofit them? I don't think I have retrofit all these guys. Let's send them all to get retrofitted then. I don't believe they've been retrofitted. That'll help. What's going on here? Construction ship or uh, completed. Pirates. Okay. And you require refueling? Is that what it's saying there? Uh, it just it already went away. Ooh, territory map swap offered and mutual defense pack offered. Really? Why do you like me so much? Where are you? You're down here, right? No, where are you? Starting to kind of get the map more explored. Oh, is it him over here? No, this is Ancient Guardians. I want to know where these guys are. I guess I could just find out in the diplomacy screen. There you are. Yeah, you're all the way down there. You're all the way down there past these guys. Oh, you're right here. Well, sure, I'll swap with you. And then you want to do a mutual defense pack. I guess it could come in handy if somebody, like, around here declares war on me, but for these guys to actually get to me, they'd have to go through my two pretty powerful allies. And I don't really want to get dragged into a war if he goes to a war, so unfortunately I'm actually going to decline that. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. I just don't... I don't want to get dragged to any wars that you might declare on people up by me. Because <laughs> that would just benefit you. No, uh, that wouldn't benefit me at all. What are you? Exploration ship for the Kadarian Empire. Pirates everywhere are trying to get my money. They can just get the hell out of here. I don't want anything to do with them. All right, exploration ships have completed their missions. Ah, there we go. A little bit long range. I think I'll start sending them this way because there's a refuel station here and that's where I want them to go. So I'm actually going to move them uh, to this system. Move to this system. And is there any systems around here that are useful for them to explore? These have all been explored. So what I really need to explore is this way and this way, all around that way. So let's actually just send them all over here because there's a... Uh, they're building that gas mining station there and so he'll be able... They'll all be able to refuel there and then spread out from there. So we'll start getting them there now. My race in the system? Yes, finally, a planet that I can colonize. Let's go take a look and see. Population growth level is now 20%. Awesome. So it looks like we found our first planet we're going to try to colonize. Ooh, and he's set up in a very nice spot. Very nice spot. Because we could take this planet here. That's an ocean moon. Well, I don't want to colonize two planets right next to each other. That might be a little silly. Maybe not because it'd be easy to defend them. And I, all it would do if I raised the populations was give me a better tax boost. I guess that's something to think about. Not, uh, no, too far from existing colonies, really. Huh. But that's fine, because I think I could just take it over still, right? I can't colonize it, but I could take it over. Maybe? Now, we'll have to come into the system anyways. I want to remove these, um, pirate bases from here. Ooh, the Venomous Army. Yikes. Are they the ones with the insane, uh, with the insane firepower? 
Oh, they are. 12,300. I don't know if I want to start any quarrels with them. Yikes. Hmm, I could, t I could task somebody to take those out, maybe. There is a... F uh, is a source of fuel in here. Let's, uh... Do I have an available construction ship? I should. Where are my construction ships? Right there. No. Right there. Yes, I've got one available. How far is that? I think I can get a construction ship there. I cannot. I could only get him there if I fueled up here, and then even then it might be somewhat... Let's see. Can I refuel here? The system does have fuel, yes. Oh no, it's, it's gonna take it to the nearest. See, I gotta, I gotta zoom all the way in here and actually refuel off of this, so... Yes, okay. Well, he's gonna have to pick up the materials though to build that, and I don't know if... That means he might have to go this way and then jump back, which won't help me at all. Ooh, diet race have begun their regular five-year change of cycle. Diets. I did not know that I bumped into the diets. Where are they? The diet alliance. Ooh, there's some. There's somewhat near me. And they naturally like me. All right, and I think we'll be friends with the diets as well. Pretty much all the insectoids are going to want to be friends with us because we're just very in line with what we like to do. Oh god, that's creepy. Um, I could see if I could. Oh, okay, they don't seem to want to. Uh, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let them communicate with us. Now, I'm sure they'll come in contact with us any time now. Yeah, I definitely want to get that, that uh, planet popula uh, populated. Is there a source of fuel closer by here? Oh, man, there's a lot of luxuries around this area. Preferably a closer source of fuel. I guess not. Alright, still on the galaxy map of the Aurora Junction Enclave. Where were they? Right down here. So we know where a lot of these things are now. And that's where they are there. Should send him off on another mission. And if I can keep kind of building up his skills, then uh, eventually I'll be able to steal technology even easier. Let me see if I could try steal technology from them again. Open trade network wouldn't be bad. 76. And eh, it's just not worth it. Hmm. Who else? Who else can I steal from? Ooh, they're very stupid. Oh, we have formed British official treaties with our friends. Okay, they're kind of friends with these guys. Respect our good reputation. But other than that, they're pretty stupid. So let's see if we can steal something from them. Steal research, maybe? Yes, enhanced storage. Hyperdrive technology? Yeah, really? We can get some more on that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, then. More pirates offering protection and do not want your protection. The only people I might get protection from is the venomous pirates if they do ask for it. If they haven't already, I haven't been paying attention. Uh, we'll wait for that uh, construction ship to get there and refuel, and then we'll see if it's going to let me send him off. Oh, monetary gift. Maybe I will ally you. You keep giving me gifts like that. 2,000 credits. Population's at 5.1, so we're starting to really get up there now, especially with the plus 20% population growth. Um, so that's good. We'll hopefully get this planet maxed out. It'll be very, very fantastic. I definitely want to get a second colony started here. If I'm going to get a second colony started there, I do need to work on my um, fleets. So what I actually need to probably do is queue up a couple more, a couple more escorts. I actually need some troop transports as well. Let me purchase uh, two force deployers. I think that'll be good. That'll be enough to take that planet. And I'll start building up a kind of like an assault fleet. And if I'm going to get an assault fleet, then I might as well rename this fleet now as I'm here. And we'll rename this from the first fleet to the homeworld uh, defense fleet. There we go. And select these guys real quick. Um, send them the refuel. And what are you? And what are you doing? Exploration ship. Okay. Hmm. A little far from home, but alright. A couple exploration ships jumping in and out of here. Offer Empire contact. No, thank you. Ooh, what happened here? Increased their high tech research skill level. Okay, awesome. Very good news. 
efficient blasters has caused our scientists to do something. I have to check and see, actually. Critical breakthrough research efficient blasters. Ooh, initiated crash research program for the project. Fantastic. All right, so our research is starting to really pick up here. Efficient blasters is now on crash course, so that'll uh, finish fairly quickly. So after that, we're going to go for... All right, I guess we'll go for shipboarding. And I think we should start upgrading our fighters, probably. Planetary defense. Um, enable planetary defense. Enables recruiting a planetary defense unit. Reduces the strength of invading army troops. Maybe. Maybe interesting to go for. Enhanced point defense. Not really. Let's actually go for improved missiles next. How are we doing here? Hyperdrive technology is good. If that guy comes back within the year, that should bump it up a little bit more and we'll have it sooner rather than later. Colonization is what we're working on next, which is good. We most certainly need that. And we've got the hunter seeker, uh, the hunter seeker algorithms. So uh, that's something that I may want to throw out at the enemy. And then enhanced transport. I can either try to steal it. Nah, I don't think. I'll just think I'll just go for it. I want to get the uh, the increased fuel loads, so my exploration ships aren't so crippled like they are right now. What are these guys all going for? I think I got fuel down here, right? Just to, uh, is that all I have down here? Thought I built here for, oh yeah, and then I got a, uh, or, uh, Aculon and, uh, Emerus Crystals as well. Okay, I knew there was a couple things I went there for. And the troop transports have been completed. So let's go into our ships and bases screen real quick. We'll grab up those, uh, transports. And we'll make a new fleet, and we will actually name the new fleet. First Invasion Fleet. All right, and just leave those how they are for now. And if I'm going to have those guys there, then I need to do a little bit more recruiting on my home world. Uh, so I've got two garrisoned here, and then what I want to do is probably recruit four. I think will be enough to take that planet. I will have more increased uh, range, hopefully, by the time the time comes to take that planet. All right, and a new ship captain. Sweet. We'll put him in our invasion fleet once I have... Uh, he helps with fighters. We can actually throw him on a carrier once I get carriers. That'll be a little ways away, though. And we'll bring this troop general with us as well. We'll put him with the uh, first invasion fleet, actually. Let's transfer him there. Ooh, troop recruitment rate and troop recovery rate. Actually, he does. He's gonna do better on our home world because he increases. He has a trooper recruitment rate increase, so he's actually gonna do better on our home world than he will in the invasion fleet. Um, but we do have a lot of ship captains just hanging out, so we'll put them on the military ships that end up. Oh, he, yep, he can go on a carrier. We'll put them on the military ships that end up uh, becoming part of our invasion fleet. That is what we will do. I want to find more planets with my colonies on them. Do I not have any more colonizable planets nearby? Let's take a look and see what I've got for colonizable planets. It's actually going to be in the expansions planner screen here. So, and I also got to take a look and see what resources I need. All right. Take a look real quick at the strategic. Do I, I should have at least almost one of everything except for silicone, uh, Tiderios. Yeah, it's just silicone, Tiderios. Okay, so I could pick those up. Zentabia fluid. What is that? I don't believe I've seen that before. Oh, another extremely rare. I've never seen this. Their petals are colored brilliant green. They thrive in very hot environment. I don't feel like I've ever seen that before for some reason. I don't know why. It just looks like something I haven't seen. Hmm. Okay, potential colonies. Okay, so that one is pretty much the closest, other than the one that I believe is right next to it, right? Yeah, so it's that one and this one next to it. So those are our closest potential colonies. Are they too far? They are almost a whole sector away. I think invading that, though, will allow me to actually grow. I don't think I actually have to... Uh, be in range to invade a planet. Maybe I do. I don't remember now. Honestly, either way, we're going to find another plant to colonize around here as well. Well, actually, let me take a look real quick. When we're done with colonization, what am I moving on to next? I was going to move on to enhanced transports. Yes, I do want to get enhanced transports. And then after that, 
Oh, that's not going to increase my fuel load. Uh, the enhanced storage would increase my fuel load. What was I thinking? Yeah, I don't want enhanced transports. I want enhanced storage. And then we'll probably go for continental colonization. After that, maybe. I think that'll be the best way to go. And then probably enhanced medicine. And holographic entertainment. But we definitely want to get a second colony started. And a continental planet will be perfectly fine for that. Yep, I think that'll be fantastic. Alright, so we're looking pretty good so far. I'm going to cut this episode off here. And uh, yeah, let's just take a look real quick at the diplomacy screen. See how everybody's doing. Remember we're coming in contact with some other races here. We got the uh, Shatoon Major techno uh, Technocracy. So they're not too great. They're quite stupid as you can see. However, they do respect my government type and my good reputation. Fantastic. Might steal some stuff from them, see if they got any technology worth stealing. How is everybody doing? Military strength, 2,000. What am I sitting at? 454. So I'm way behind everybody. 2,000, 2,000, 1,000 of each, 14. Oh, these guys suck. 213. Well, at least we're ahead of somebody. 15,412. Yikes. And they don't like me. Where are they? Ooh, and they're north of me too. They're very close to me. These guys are going to be a problem, I can already tell. 3,007. Okay, so we're not doing too bad. Obviously, the Ancient Guardians are going to be ridiculously ahead of us. And then there are two pirate factions. This one is just blowing up. Uh, which is never good. So, take a, look, a quick look at the Empire comparison here. Um, so, population-wise, we're the lowest. Uh, territory, or even... Economy, definitely the lowest economy by a lot, actually. That's something I'll have to work on. But that's because, obviously, we're trying to grow our population. Uh, strategic value, though, just a little behind second to last, so not too bad. Military strength, we're not the weakest, so I'll take that for what it's worth. And then top colonies, um, where am I here? I'm going to be probably somewhere near the bottom. Okay, I'm not even on the top 10 colonies list, it looks like. Um, but that's okay. I expected that. So, yep, I'm going to cut this episode off here. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.